Hello, I'm Bill Akins and welcome to my shop. I'm just starting the tilt top table project from Mark uh, Spagnolo the Wood Whisperer. And one thing that this project and Mark has taught me, I need a couple more inches. Let me tilt the camera down and show you what I'm talking about. My lathe is a couple inches short. That is what you were thinking, right? Well, my leg blank is uh, 19 and a half inches long. I only have 18 inches between my centers, and that's going over the bed uh, a little farther than I really want to anyway. So what I'm going to try to do is instead of buying the extension, I'm going to try to make a short extension here on, on the end myself, and we'll see how that works. Okay, down here at the end of my lathe, there are holes here where you can buy an extension to go out here with another leg, which a couple, 250 bucks, I'm not uh, able to do that right at this time. And I only need a couple more inches. So what I've done, I've through my scrap box and I found this piece of uh, oak here I glued up for a previous project, two three quarter pieces. And I have cut a notch out to, to match this notch and I'm using the two lower holes here. I picked up some bolts. I tried every uh, nut and bolt I had in my uh, coffee can over there. I could not get one to fit so I could take it to the hardware and get a longer one. I tried removing several different screws out of the ma machine here to see if I could get one to fit. could not. So I just got this little skinny lag bolt here and I am going to put this on here. Okay, put the other one in, tighten them up, and I want to make sure this is all flush right in here. It's very important to be flush right there. Okay, I've got this bolt of town nice and tight. It's flush right in here. Now, I've also taken some more scraps, cut uh, two six-inch pieces. I put a little block on the end, which we will get to later. I've, I've glued and screwed that in, and these will line up flush with the inside of this on both sides. Uh, both of these are proud just a hair. And I'll, I'll decide to leave them that way until I, I get it together and I will sand that down to where everything's flush. But I've marked where I need to drill two holes in each board to uh, screw this in. So let me go drill those out. Well after marking these, I went and drilled them out and did countersinks and I'm using my square head screws for my pocket hole kit. So I'm going to get one started. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these. There's going to be two screws, but I want some glue too. Need all the support I can get. Get this one lined up. Put the inside flush. I'll take a straight edge, put it in here. Make sure I'm good. Now I will straighten that up and use a little adjustment. Put the other screws in, and we got one more little thing to do. Okay, I have these mounted. Uh, they are up just a little bit, and the uh, tailstock will not slide over, so I will sand that down in a second. But uh, these little blocks on the end, uh, what I decided was this may hold up fine, but you never know what a lathe's going to do when it gets to shaking. Uh, so I put little blocks there, took some more scrap, and uh, cut 45s on it because this actually turned out to be a perfect 45 uh, triangle. So I'm going to just slide that and it'll fit right in here behind this bolt uh, that holds it to the frame. So that slides right in there. And put the other one in. That'll give us a couple of nice little braces. I'm not going to glue or screw those in or anything. I'm just going to let those be extra braces and I think that's really going to help it out. And so let's sand this up to make this nice and smooth so the tail cycle will slide over. Well, I have this sanding nice and flush and smooth at 220, and um, I decided to 
put a little glue in my supports there. The vibrations from the sander cause one to fall out. They're in there very tight, but if a sander's going to knock it out, I can't have that. But I feel I would be airing my ways if I didn't tell you that I went ahead and put some glue in this right here. A screw might not hurt, and, but I'll try that later. So I'm just going to put a little CA glue on the one end. I am not putting glue on my end where it's up against the lathe. It sits behind that bolt and it wedges in quite well. Alright, let that set up. I'll do the other side and then uh, I want to do a little hand sanding on the inside edges right here and then we're ready to go. Every so often I like to uh, wax down the bed of my lathe and I like to use Renaissance wax. Love it on furniture, love it on tools. So might as well wax uh, my new extensions down a little bit. It also helps it slide better. I'm not putting any other finish, just a little wax where all the parts slide on. Buff that out a little bit and we're done with this project. Let's give this a test run and see what we think about it. Well my extension's all done and believe it or not I've added seven inches to my tool here. I'm happy. Got my uh, cherry stock loaded up on here. It's a little tight sliding on the wood but I'd rather it be tight than loose so I'm happy with that. So now I can finish turning my leg here. Let's give it a shot. Thanks for watching. See you next time.